In this video, we compare and contrast the Bernese Mountain Dog with the St. Bernard. Just in case you're in the market for one, let's first take a look at their history. At first glance, these dogs bear a resemblance to one another in size and stature, but their histories and original purposes is strikingly different. The Bernese Mountain Dog originated in Switzerland in the farmlands around the city of Bern. She was a farm dog. However, her job was not to herd flocks. Rather, her main role was to be a companion and protector to the farmer and the farmer's family. It is also thought that these dogs pulled small carts at times too. Given their size and strength, it makes sense. As for the St. Bernard, were bred in Switzerland. These dogs would accompany the monks in part due to their ability to sense impending avalanches. These dogs learned rescue techniques from the monks and were used in the Swiss Alps. Next, let's compare and contrast the Bernese Mountain Dog and the St. Bernard by their appearance. While both of these dogs are large, the St. Bernard is a little bit larger. St. Bernard stand anywhere between 26 and 30 inches tall at the shoulder, depending on the gender, and they can weigh up to 180 pounds. They are well proportioned and powerful with a large blocky head that can often have a somber expression. As for the Bernese Mountain Dog, they stand 23 to 27 inches at the shoulder and can weigh up to 115 pounds. They also stand strong and tall. However, they have the agility needed to work on the farm. Their face is a little more refined than the St. Bernard and the females have a distinctly feminine quality compared to the male dogs. Next, let's compare and contrast the Bernese Mountain Dog and the St. Bernard based on their temperament. Both of these dogs, although large, are gentle and kind. However, there are some differences when it comes to their activity levels. The Bernese is known to be affectionate, patient, and eager to please. Their patient nature makes them great therapy dogs. They are also very easy to train due to their eagerness to please. While they are steady, easy to please and easy to train, they still do enjoy a good run. As for the St. Bernard, it is also eager to please and calm in nature. Training is a must with these dogs, not due to their aggression, but due to their huge size. Thankfully, they are easily trained. St. Bernards are known to have a natural affinity with children. Again, due to their size, it is best to be careful that no accidental injuries are sustained while playing with kids. Next, we compare and contrast the training of the Bernese Mountain Dog and the St. Bernard. The training needs of these dogs are quite similar. While they are both calm and gentle, they are both sizable. As such, training from a young age is an absolute must to ensure you are not overpowered if the dog becomes excited. Thankfully, both breeds are eager to please and will be responding quickly to training. The ideal time to socialize your puppy is between 8 and 16 weeks of age. Socializing is simply a matter of introducing your puppy to a variety of new situations while they are young. This teaches them that these situations are nothing to be afraid of. Next, we look at the Bernese Mountain Dog and St. Bernard exercise requirements. Neither of these dogs are very high energy, but the Bernese will appreciate a little more exercise than the St. Bernard. The Bernese will really enjoy participating in canine sports, such as agility, herding, or obedience. The St. Bernard will happily accompany you on a walk or might even enjoy pulling your kids around in a cart, like the Bernese but ultimately the St. Bernard is happiest 
if she is doing whatever you are. Finally, we look at the Bernese Mountain Dog and St. Bernard's Health. Both of these dogs will live to around 10 years of age. Being that they are large dogs, both are susceptible to bloat, which is a sudden life-threatening condition. It is advisable that you check the health of the parents before buying or adopting one of these dogs. The Bernese Mountain Dog is also susceptible to blood clotting, where the St. Bernard doesn't seem to have that issue. We hope this video has helped you decide whether the Bernese Mountain Dog or the St. Bernard is best for you.